Hello, everyone. Welcome back. <clears throat> Megan owes 67000 uh, to the newspaper so far in uh, court charges based on some of her claims being thrown out. Uh, will the five friends be named? I think yes. Uh, in my family, we have seven attorneys in the family. We've talked about this. While the UK laws are a little bit different um, than the, uh, the US, I do think that they will be public knowledge since uh, Megan brought the lawsuit, and it's her friends that uh, told, and she said she didn't know anything about it. I don't think their names will remain private. Harry is trying to make money for Travelist. Disclaimer, full disclaimer can be found below in the description. Thank you for watching my channel. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with a, uh, a video about Harry, and this is one of his latest. He's trying to drum up business uh, for a travelist, and I think they're hurting for money. Okay, let's watch. We face our shoulder together, and the solutions must be two. It's the Duke of Sussex's first engagement since excerpts from the new book, Finding Freedom, hit the press. The prince does not mention the new royal tell-all, which he and his wife Meghan were not interviewed for and did not contribute to, but are rumored to have approved. Instead, Harry focuses today on his sustainable travel company, Travelist, which, like much of the tourism industry, has been hit hard by the ongoing health crisis. There is a long road to recovery ahead. We all know this. But it is undoubtedly an opportunity for us to work together and build back better. The latest claims from Finding Freedom focus on the lead up to Harry and Meghan's royal wedding in the spring of 2018. The couple announced their engagement to the world in November 2017. But the book claims Harry had already popped the question by the time they made their first public appearance together two months prior at the Invictus Games in Toronto that September. There may have even been a clue in Meghan's clothing. See, she wore a piece from her friend Misha Nunu's collection called The Husband Shirt. And it's not the first time she sent a message through fashion. The former actress was famously spotted wearing this necklace with the initials H and M shortly after her romance with Harry was confirmed. But an excerpt from Finding Freedom claims that the palace was none too pleased by the sighting, saying she was advised that wearing such a necklace only served to encourage the photographers to keep pursuing such images and new headlines. The book alleges Megan was frustrated and emotional, later telling a friend, I can't win. And the drama continued leading up to the couple's I do's. Reports have speculated Queen Elizabeth turned down Meghan's first choice of tiara for her big day, and that Her Majesty allegedly told Harry, Meghan cannot have whatever she wants. She gets what tiara she's given by me. But Finding Freedom reports that there was no such clash between Meghan and the Queen, clarifying that it was actually Harry who bumped heads with the Queen's dresser, Angela Kelly, over access to the tiara for a hair trial before the wedding, which ultimately went ahead. All right, now to our daily download with Beyonce, who is celebrating. Okay, guys, so what do you think about that? So much to talk about. First of all, Harry's trying to talk about the state of the economy, and uh, he's trying to get uh, things uh, moving along for his company, Travelist. And we know that Sussex Royal was just shut down. Travelist opened up. Where is the money from uh, Disney that's supposed to go uh toward Elephants Without Borders when, what did they say, $100,000 was left in the account. And then we know what 400000 was placed in there um, that he divided uh, equally with William that was supposed to be for um, a memorial or something to go toward in memory of their mom, Princess Diana. Is he hoarding all of this money so that he'll be able to pay all these attorneys? Uh, when we know that Megan um, has already had to pay 67000 of the Mellon Sunday's um, lawyer fees already for having uh, trying to bring other things into the case that have nothing to do with it that the um, uh, Chief Justice has already thrown out. Now, today he went away and will make a decision, and I read in another article that he hopes by uh, the uh, end of the second week in August that he will make a decision as to whether or not the five friends will have to come forward. So let's go ahead and look. The Telegraph says Harry and Meghan's lack of protest at finding freedom suggests they don't mind hacks, provided that they come out well. Yeah, they don't care, um, and they're not going to admit to being a part of this. But how can Omid and Carolyn have such intimate details of things that happened in her life, especially of a phone call that was 
supposedly took place um, or conversation in her own bathroom. And then we know the necklace um, H&M that she was wearing, and she was supposedly having trouble with the paparazzi in Canada. So he sent MI6 over there to, uh, to take care of her during that time. And even the palace said, well, if she's going around wearing the necklace H&M, that's going to drive um, more attention to her. And we know that she was staging uh, pat photos and, and having the paparazzi show up where she was. That was so she could cry victim to Harry. And then we know about Tierra Gate. She's trying to make it seem like that there was no rift between her and the queen. No, the, the queen just said, uh, said it the way it was. Megan doesn't get whatever she wants, doesn't get the tear she wants. I will tell her what she gets. And it, yes, Harry had, may have had a falling out with um, one of the staff members, but that was because he wanted her to have access to anything there that she wanted to look at. And we know that that was already um, promised to her granddaughter. Oh, the lies, the lies, the lawsuits. I, I think they're going to run out of money before they make any. It says that some of the quotes attributed to Megan, and we all know this, uh, including, I gave up my entire life for this family, quote, end quote, appear to have been uttered during a, a here to two off the record moment with chosen journalists, including one of the book's authors, Omid Scobie, by the um, very nature off the record briefings with member of the Royal Press Pack are meant to remain private. Yeah. How curious that in this particular case, Megan has seemingly agreed to let the intrusion of her innermost thoughts um, agreed, excuse me, Megan has seemingly agreed to let this intrusion into her innermost thoughts slide. Only on Thursday, the couple fired yet another salvo at the media by launching legal action in the U.S. after drones were allegedly used to take pictures of a one-year-old son, Archie, in Los Angeles, California, where they're currently based. Boy, they just keep on coming, don't they? Meghan Markle uh, compromised privacy of five friends and legal document the court hears. And I believe that um, the decision will be made that those five friends do not have to remain anonymous. She drug them in and uh, gave up their right for privacy, I believe, because she made the lawsuit against the mail on Sunday, claiming that they published these letters of her father. And now they let one of the names accidentally slip out, but, you know, it's not known to the public. But I don't believe that that's going to uh, be in her favor. I believe they're going to say that uh, these five friends will have to testify and that their names can be released. Even though People Magazine didn't say who their sources were, because Megan has brought this court case about, I believe that those names will not have to be kept secret. And I think she's going to just be devastated by the fact that everybody finds out who they are. The Duchess of Sussex was accused of compromising the pri privacy of her own friends by supplying their names in a legal document that she wants to remain secret. The High Court heard on Wednesday the Duchess freely and without being compelled on her own accord disclosed the identities of five friends whose privacy she now fears will be breached. Megan gave the names in a confidential document to Associated Newspapers, the publisher of the Mail on Sunday, who she is suing for breach of privacy and copyright over its publication of a handwritten letter to her father, Thomas Markle. We all know that, um, in our opinion, or allegedly, that uh, she talked to her five friends, made them feel sorry for, and um, in her own manipulative way, let them know that she wished the truth could be out there about um, how she's tried to mend things with her father. And uh, because, guess what? The father uh, surprised her and went five or six months and didn't uh, turn over those letters to anybody. And only after they were published in People magazine by the five friends did he talk to the mail on Sunday and give them access to the letters. So she put it out in the public domain first. Her father did not. In legal submissions, the Duchess has warned that being uh, forced to identify the friends is an ex unacceptable price to pay in pursuit of her legal claim. She is arguing that naming them would breach their privacy under the European Convention of Human Rights, while the newspaper argues that they must be disclosed as key principle of open justice. When Now, look, if they're the main people that have to testify so they can determine if the Mellon uh, Sunday 
Monday, uh, wins or lose their case based on whether or not she uh, told the five friends to go and talk to People Magazine. Of course, these people need to be named. We need to know who they are. It needs to be a matter of public record. And if they didn't want their names out there, they shouldn't have got involved in the first place, especially when they're going out there and trying to manipulate the truth. At one stage in Wednesday's court proceedings, Megan's barrister, barrister, excuse me, accidentally let slip the surname of one of the friends his client is seeking to keep anonymous. Mr. Justice Warby, the judge, suggested that an error was bound to happen before immediately ordering that the name should not be reported. It emerged that only one of the friends, friend B, an American citizen who says she approached People Magazine on her own accord, yeah, right. Has How did five people just happen to go to People Magazine, who is one of the one uh, handful of magazines that Megan trusts or says that she wants to cooperate with and giving her own story out there? It's just too much of a coincidence. I just don't believe that that's true. A, a bar barrister for the newspaper said that the statement has been shown to be unsatisfactory, but did not go into further details. So something about the statement that that friend B gave is um, unsatisfactory. Maybe they didn't go into details. Maybe they just said, I talked to her, she told me about the letter, and that I decided to go on their own. They're going to have to get uh, access to them and question them uh, deeply, both sides, and uh, in order for them to determine whether or not Megan influenced their decision. It was disclosed that the Duchess agreed to pay in full $67,888 in cost to Associated Newspapers today after the publisher successfully argued that elements of her case be struck out. Of course, she was trying to bring in all these other articles and saying that, you know, they were vindictive and they were just going after her and um, just trying to destroy her. The costs are just a fraction of a multi-million legal bill expected should the case go to a full trial next year. Remember, they gave her a chance to, to get out of this, and she said, no, let's pursue it. Now there's no stopping this. This is going to go to trial, and Megan, in my opinion, is going to lose big time. And um, this was just going on about the five friends and uh, the People magazine article. And let's see, in legal uh, submissions, her lawyer said, forcing the, cl uh, forcing the claimant, Duchess, as the defendant uh, urges the court to do, to disclose their identities to the public as at this stage is an unacceptable price to pay for the right to pursue her claim for invasion of privacy against the defendant. She thinks because she's suing then for invasion of privacy that uh, she has the right to use the legal argument invasion of privacy for her five friends. Well, it. Um, I, I'm sorry, but she invaded the privacy of her father by publishing those in the first place. What about that? And what about invasion of privacy when we know that she cooperated a Allegedly, or we believe, um, with Carolyn and Omid Scobie on finding freedom. Her barrister, John uh, Rushbrook, QC, told the court that the Associated Newspaper case is just that. Megan had compromised her friend's right to privacy by putting their names in the public court document. He added, we say on any analysis that is actually a grotesque perversion of what has actually happened. She is just throwing everything at the board, hoping something will stick. And then just, just goes on to talk about uh, Friend B again. And this is just something about uh, discovery procedures. And, um, you know, in some cases, a, um, a defendant or somebody giving testimony has a right to privacy. But I don't think in this case, um, over what this legal matter is about, um, that they will have a right uh, Meghan Markle accuses Mel on Sunday of a vicious attempt to reveal her friends identifies for clickbait. She's saying that they just want to go after her, go after her friends, and supposedly they're all young mothers, and she doesn't want them drug into this. Well, she should have thought about that and talked to them prior to setting them up to go to People Magazine and also deciding to sue the Mel on Sunday. I'm sorry, Megan, you don't get your way in every situation. <clears throat> it says that Megan is currently suing the mail on Sunday for publishing a private letter from her to her father. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat got dry. 
All right, and this just goes on to talk about uh, what the male believes. The male on Sunday is playing a media game with real lives that she's saying, I respectfully ask the court to treat this legal matter with the sensitivity it deserves and to prevent the publisher of the male on Sunday from breaking president and abusing the legal process by identifying these anonymous individuals. Oh, please, Megan. So, did you guys... Excuse me. Shh. It's okay, sweetie. Sorry, one of my little dogs was barking. Um, so, Megan Markle's Wikipedia, we just found out today, um, was edited right before her relationship with Prince Harry uh, was made public. So, it says that uh, that she went in, and one of the changes that she made was that um, the changes removed a reference to the deal or no deal when she was a suitcase girl on the game show, and that um, on that same day, the day before that her relationship with Harry broke, that she went in allegedly on her Wikipedia page and then listed herself as a... Um, Remove the model part and then listed herself as a humanitarian. Unbelievable. So, again, Meghan Markle defends Bryn's, uh, friends' identities and fight with the British news. Um, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sue over photos of Archie taken in the garden. So, um, since this was already out there, and then I just blocked out little Archie's uh, face on here. There's Archie with Grandmother Doria, and they are going for a walk, supposedly in the driveway at the home they're staying at, Tyler Perry's homes. So, they're saying drones and, and helicopters are flying over, disturbing the neighbors. If she keeps taking out these lawsuits, they're going to be in court for the next five to ten years uh, being that the pandemic hasn't ended yet and all these other court cases are backed up. So just unbelievable. All right. Um, and then I just, hold on one second. I just want to thank you all for watching. Um, please don't forget to share, give me a like, uh, and subscribe to the videos if you'd like to see more. Let me know other content that you would like to see. And again, just want to thank you all for watching. Hope everyone's having an awesome week and I'll be back in the next day or so. Thanks so much.